Hello and welcome to Flamingo Friday. This week I am going to be talking about pretty much my favourite topic which is books and reading because um, I was given for my 40th birthday from my lovely cousin Charlene and her boyfriend Gavin they gave me a Mr B's reading spa which is just fantastic and I'd never heard of this before. Mr B's um, Reading Emporium is a bookshop in Bath, but it's not just any bookshop. It's super cool. And the reason I wanted to talk to you about this today is because um, you can do this with your business, especially if you're a bricks and mortar business and you're like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting for people to come into the shop, buy my stuff. You can do so much more than that. And I just wanted to go through a little bit of what Mr B's does today. Starting with the reading spa because I'm super excited about it. They're booked up months in advance So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this until much later in the year And when I do I will definitely be doing a video about it and my experiences and all the rest of it But um, the card says congratulations You are the lucky recipient of a mr. B's reading spa a personal book consultation with one of our team of bibliotherapists We'll discuss your favorite reads over tea and cake awesome, um, before presenting you with a selection of titles especially curated to suit your tastes. You'll also receive a £55 voucher to spend on books that you choose during the readings file, which is so cool, I have a book problem, um, a Mr B's mug, cloth bag and a £5 gift card. And, and then it just talks about what the appointment, when the appointments are available, how long they are, book early, blah, 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 and how to book. And it's just super exciting. So I'm really excited about this and it's such a cool thing to do for book lovers. Now, I'm probably gonna, you know, they're giving me a £55 voucher, I know what I'm like, I'm probably gonna spend a hundred quid in there easily, uh, because that is what I do. People who love books don't just love books, they love books. Like, I went to my book club last night and came back, not with just the um, next book in the list, but a whole pile of books. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you need to realise that when somebody loves something, they, they will they really love it and they will spend time and money and effort doing whatever they can to get more and more of it which is why if you've got something like a I'm using the bookshop here obviously but they're not just selling books to people they're doing these reading spas and also they do reading subscriptions which is a fantastic idea and I just wanted to show you this as well because um, they beaut they package it up beautifully I'm a sucker for packaging and look how beautifully packaged that is um they you you talk to their bibliotherapists as they call them um, and you explain your reading preferences, the type of books you like to read, the authors you like, what you're interested in, that kind of thing and they will hand pick a book for you and deliver it to you every month and you can have like three months, six months or eleven months and it's just a fantastic idea. The website's great, it's super easy to do so you can decide how many books that you want, um, you can decide whether you want paperbacks or hardbacks, um, tell them where you live, who's getting the reading subscription and whether you want a digital voucher or a physical voucher which I think is a nice touch because it's nice to have something physical if you're giving a gift to somebody um, and then just explains to you what to do so yeah what can you do in your business what business do you run what do you sell what can you do to make it so much more because there are so many bookshops in the world this is the only bookshop I've ever come across that does anything like this and you know for, because of that they can I bet they make a fortune out of this which is great and I bet they have the happiest customers in the world which is even more important so what business do you run you know do you run a bricks and mortar business do you run a garage could you run this amazing kind of valet service that you know you could just take care of care of people's needs and I'm going to talk about that another time because I've had a, an adulting fail this week um yeah so what Whatever business you run, what can you do to make the experience amazing for your customers? And if you're stuck for ideas and you're thinking, oh, I think there must be something else I can do. And, you know, do people really love what I do? Um, do people really love the thing I sell? How can I make it more exciting? If you're stuck for ideas, get yourself on a call with me, borrow my brain for half an hour. And I will, I guarantee I will come up with um, a whole bunch of ideas that are really, really cool. Um, whenever I have a consultation with somebody like that, they're always astonished at the ideas that I have and not just like throw ideas at you but how you can put it in practice and how you can start doing it now so if you would like to book half an hour with me and borrow my brain and find out how you can do something super cool like mr b's reading emporium um follow the link below book your session and uh and we'll we'll talk i'm looking forward to it happy friday Bye -bye.